Hi, my name is Stacia Macklin and I'm with Full Circle Grief Center. I'm happy that you could join me virtually for this conversation about grief. It's on five grounding techniques that we hope that you'll find helpful. If you're grieving or just dealing with the anxiety of the COVID crisis or just having feelings of overwhelm in general. These strategies are aimed at adults, but could be very helpful too for young adults and older teens. We use these strategies primarily when we're feeling anxious, overwhelmed with a variety of feelings, including those of sadness and grief. And grounding strategies are a way to calm down and refocus more quickly, staying present instead of in your head. These are quick and easy to do in private at home or at work, but also in public. And that's what so many people find helpful is that this can be one great tool to have in your toolbox to be able to quickly address feelings of overwhelm as they pop up. So I'm gonna have five today and I'm gonna walk you through them a little bit. So the first is called the grounding chair. So as you can guess, it involves sitting in a chair. The best way is to have a chair that has arms so that you really can feel the grounding. As you're sitting in the chair, you're gonna be mindful of your breath, trying to slow it down. You're gonna be mindful of having your feet on the ground, which is very important, part of grounding, having your feet on the ground, your arms on the armrest, scooching your bum as far back into the chair, and just feeling your body connecting with the chair. It may seem simple, and some of these may even seem silly, but they do work for a lot of people. So that is one called the grounding chair. Very simple, easy to do in a lot of places. Another one is called the five, four, three, two, one. This is another one that you can do and no one even needs to know that you are doing it and that you're working through overwhelm. So I'll walk you through. In your head, you say to yourself and you find five things that you can see. So you're looking around the room, you're looking around your space, just identifying five things you can see, then four things you can feel, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and then your final one can be one thing you taste or one that people tend to like even more is one thing that you're grateful for or one thing that you're good at. Many people use this five, four, three, two, one several times during the day just to kind of refocus, regroup, and reset. A third is something that I tend to do and a lot of our members do, and that is holding something we call it a grounding object. So it can be something that is special to you, is a remembrance to your loved one, something that brings you power, or just something grounding. The nice part about this is, if you're at home, you may have a bigger object, like this bigger rock. And the thing about it is, you feel the weight in your hand. It's literally grounding. When you're out and about, you may have a smaller object, you may have jewelry that you can hold and touch, or you may have a bracelet or some other piece of jewelry that you're able to focus on. You may also pick something that is very interesting, that's pretty, that has texture, and that way you can bring your full focus to it. But it really is, again, literally about grounding. And so a lot of times things with weight to them can be very helpful for this. A third, is one we do and try a lot, and that's distracting yourself, but a focus distracting. And so that can be several things. It can be something like picking a color and then seeing how many things in that shade of color you can see in your space and surroundings. Or it could be counting backwards. Um, a very simple one we learned at a young age, but it can be helpful at times. The fifth one, and one that was newer to me, is drawing around your foot in your mind. So again, back to the idea of literal grounding. And so best is to have your feet on the ground when you do this, but literally in your head, outline your foot with invisible chalk. You may close your eyes while you do this, but it is literally outlining your foot in your mind to bring the focus of your energy and attention to your body and to your surroundings. So as you can see, these grounding techniques can help you to get out of your brain and out of the rethinking and out of the replaying and bringing the focus onto your body. Some of these may work for you, some of them may not. 
But the hope is that over time, you'll find one or two that do bring you grounding, do bring you calm, do bring you the ability to reset. And you can have them in your toolbox to use at different times during your grief journey and during this COVID crisis. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My information is gonna be linked to this video. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Full Circle. We have a lot to offer or even during this time of virtual offerings. So thank you very much. And I hope some of these are helpful to you.